Hello and welcome to Chaos in the Kitchen. Badoom. This is the sixth episode in the first season. And the seasons are quite lengthy in this series. I hope you don't mind. Because if you do, I don't care. Anyway, today we're gonna make a doll. Uh, and I think I'm gonna call it Doll Deluxe. And the doll is a lentil stew with the stuffs in it. And this is uh, something I haven't tried before. As every time I cook, and we cook the same thing, but I also always cook the same thing. Uh, but anyway, we have done some mise en place here. Oh, I don't see what's in the picture frame. So we have some uh, fiber. We've got some rapeseed oil, we got some rice vinegar, ketchup, liquid smoke, really important. We got uh, cooking cream, soy sauce, sesame oil, Tabasco, carrots, potatoes, onions, and of course lentils. We also have curry spice. And barbecue spice and chicken and steak spice S yes, I think and we have this new super big uh, pan uh, that we're gonna uh, inaugurate is it called that uh, today because it's the first time uh, we we're, we're using it it was bought yesterday and we're gonna use this new cool spatula too. Uh, so, I have fixed the best camera angle ever. We also, of course, have German beer, gebracht nach dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot. Very important. And we have uh, preheated some water that we're gonna need. First, what we do is we take the... No, just kidding. We're gonna do the sauce first. And the sauce is gonna be in this pan. So, first off, we take a bit of rapeseed oil, like 30% of the bottom. We take a little bit of this sesame oil. We take a little bit of soy sauce. We take a little bit of vinegar. A little bit more. What should we take next? Du, 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 du. Ketchup, cooking cream, or Tabasco. We take the Tabasco first, then we can actually see what we're doing here. Not so much. Not so much. Uh, and then we take the ketchup. Because we want it sweet. We want it salty, and we want it fatty, and we want it spicy, and we want this acidic thingy uh, from the vinegar. Oh, I forgot the smoke. We haven't taken the smoke yet. We're gonna be wary. We take... 
about one whole list. <laughs> Cork in Swedish. Uh, and now it looks like this. I'm the best camera person in the world. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Uh, and we're actually gonna turn up the heat. Max heat. And then pour in some cooking cream until you fill the bottom. Bottom. Nice. Like that. Put everything back where it belongs. Don't put vinegar in the refrigerator. Because I don't know why, but that's how we do it. Yeah, that's how we do it. Do, 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 do. And so, yeah, we're also gonna do some uh, spices. Uh, this is gonna be kid friendly, so I don't have super much spices in this one. Uh, like, I don't have a lot of each spice, but I have a lot of different spices. I don't know if that makes sense. It's gonna taste a lot of different stuffs, but it's not gonna be very spicy. Not very hot. Uh, so now it looks like this. Oh, this was a good angle. And then I'm just gonna stir it around here. Do like this to really dissolve the texture. That is the thickest thing we have in this. And really mix it good because we don't want any any unmixed part of this thingy. <laughs> I could not do this in my last pan. It wasn't my pan, but the last pan I used, because it didn't have these high ridges. Nice! And that is going to... I'm just gonna heat it up, uh, so it starts to bubble, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill the the the, the plate uh, with a knife. Uh, no, I'm gonna turn off the heat, so it's just sitting there on after warmth. Uh, important. I didn't almost drop that. It was just for show. So now we're gonna start with the onion because the onion want, uh, wants to be boiled on low heat. I'm gonna put it in first. Take away. Bottom half, half, bottom part and the top part. Oh, this is all bubbly, 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 bubbly. So I turn off the heat here and uh, stir it a bit around. And because I'm recording, I'm not gonna use the fan, or am I? Otherwise we have some fire alarm going here. 
I have to talk louder. That's okay. I'm actually gonna remove it because it bubbled up really faster. So I'm gonna let it sit there for a while. Still gonna, it's still bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. This is how I use, uh, do with onion. I take the outer layer and then I just bloop. And then everything comes off. Really easy. Like outer layer. But this outer layer didn't look so good, so I throw that. Just eat food that you think look nice. Or this wasn't nice either. But this look good. But here we had a little part that was a bit Can you see it? It's a hole. I don't like to eat holes. Depending on what holes we're talking about. So this feels... I'm not gonna use any of these actually. They felt so... hard and like... Like old people's skin, and uh, I don't like eating skin. No this to old people. I'm almost old myself. And now we're gonna have kind of big pieces, so I'm gonna divide this in wait in. Three pieces on this. Oh, this was a hard angle. <laughs> three pieces like that. And then in the middle. And in the middle again. So kind of kind of big pieces. So how did I do that? Three. Three. And in the middle of that. Now I'm putting this pan back on the plate. The plate is still warm, but it doesn't have any active heat at the moment. Three pieces in the middle and in the middle of that and in the middle of that. Three pieces. Oi. Oops. Don't put your knife on, on, on metal. That's not a super good idea. So now I'm turning this clay peppers. Yeah, the clay. I'm gonna turn it up to one, and uh, then I'm gonna put in this onions, onions, onions. Now 
nice. Now, just flip it around, flip it around. And now, hopefully, this is gonna. I'm putting it on. I, I'm putting it on, on, on six again, just until I can see bubbles, and then I'm gonna turn it back on to to to, to the first degree of heating. You see any bubbles? See any bubbles? Was that a bubble? Something is happening here. Oh, 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 they're moving someone. Th this is like the universe talking to me. The onion is screaming. Oh no! They're cooking us alive! No! It's okay. The pain will soon be over. Now, now more people start to scream here. Take it easy. Okay, okay, I turn down the heat. You don't have to be like that. And it starts to smell much more nicer as soon as I put in this. Mmm. Mmm. Cool. Uh, and now we're gonna take care of these potatoes. Oh, hello there. Use the right side of this, otherwise, it's very hard to peel the. Potatoes. Oh, I can stand up and still be in the fray. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is also a new potato peeler and the difference. The difference three dollars make. Stop doing the bubbly thing. You are just supposed to simmer, dear. Doll base. Third. Taters. And of course, uh, a doll is just lentil and water and something else. At least for me. So you can put anything in your doll. As long as it's good. So this was just because this was in the cupboards. Otherwise, I maybe would have used something else. And if I was cooking to only myself, I would probably use more spices and maybe 
ginger. Um, and yeah. Just put anything in there that is good. I was going to say maybe not chocolate, but actually that might not be such a bad idea. So, stir a bit, stir a bit, stir a ra 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 Oh, oh, mmm, that liquid smoke really, really does it. And we're gonna have, how big should our potato pieces be? Would you use like really big pieces? No, uh, maybe half of that. Very inefficient way of cutting potato here, but uh, all for my seven viewers. And remember, if you're moving some, something on a plate, on, on your cutting board with your knife, don't use the edge part, use the, this part. Otherwise, you would have to sharpen your knife more often than you otherwise would. Now I need more uh, real estate here on the cutting board, so I'm just gonna throw these into the pan. Flip. Next potato. Take away some starch from the knife. I would say it's easier to cut, you don't get stuck. But I don't know if it's true, so I just say it to you. Oh, I remember that uh, the fiber that I have here, it is actually called oatmeal, I think. Or oats, at least. Uh, it's not meal probably because it's just uh, the you're gonna see what it is it's what you make porridge out of and I've never put that in a doll before but I'm doing it because uh, I want to have a lot of all the amino acids that is uh, good for your body to like be able to build muscle because uh, I think muscle building is good because if you don't have any muscle then you can just lie down all the time and I think I've already cut some of these parts but uh, they're not as small as I want them but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, so, this is how it looks. It's starting to round a bit. Flip it. Oh! Mm, it smells even better with the taters in here. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, fudge me. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not only saying that for the camera, just you know. I am aware I'm speaking mostly to myself. Now I'm gonna cut this before I start with the other half. Otherwise, I will probably forget about them. Um, I like put big pieces in and I don't want big pieces in I want kinda smallish pieces Black stuff in potato means bye bye potato. And for the fourth and final tater, I was really close to cutting myself there. Don't stress when you cook, kids. I'm only stressing now because I'm trying out this new cam uh, and I don't, I'm not sure of the setting I don't know which quality I'm recording in so I don't know if it like will fill up the entire memory That was all the tears we had. Pour away some water. Put in taters. Taters, taters. your hands if you're doing something that makes them dirty because you don't want dirt in your food so this is how it looks now it's still on the lowest heat Nice. And now for the final fight, uh, because the other ingredients I won't have to fight with. Now I'm gonna fight this carrot. Me against the carrot. I'm, I always start with the fat part because then I can use the fat part as a handle. Because if you start, if you have a small carrot like this. And start with the the, the non-fat, the thin side. Then it can be really hard to hold. It. And uh, I don't like carrots being hard to hold. So it's actually me against. It was me against five carrots. Now. Our, Technically, they're probably still carrots, even if they are without their peel. When does a carrot stop being a carrot? It is a carrot even after I have 
attacked and slashed it and put it in the boiling thingies. So it's still me against five. But then it's still me against nine. Because the. No, eleven! Shit! I'm quite a fighter. Lost carrots to get a shaving. Now I'm gonna remove top and bottom. That was a big bottom part. And now these are just going to be chopped and I also chop from uh, chop 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 from fat part to non so not so fat part. Something falls outside It's gonna be discarded because I am a person Hope that made sense for you outside. clean your stuff right after using you will have an easier time cleaning after like when you do the re-cleaning this is how it looks mix it all together Just try to drench it as much as possible because we want all the flour flavor to be everywhere. And now for the there is some French expression here. Peace, la resistance is not what I'm searching for. 
but like the the centerpiece uh, centerpiece in Nadal is always the lentils and I'm gonna use red lentils because uh, red at heart if you check your heart and it's not red you probably have some kind of disease uh, but I preheated some water I'm gonna heat it up again <sighs> and then while we wait for that to happen can take care of all your composting stuffies. As I've said before, cleaning is 50% at least of cooking. If you're cooking, you don't clean after you, you're not cooking. You're just making a mess. Because I was going to say nobody likes a dirty kitchen, but uh, there's probably a lot of people who like a dirty kitchen better than no kitchen. So I'm just spoiled. In just a minute, but probably 45 seconds, I don't know. You should probably not keep a paper bag next to cleaning stuffies because then you don't have a bag anymore you have a porridge from lowest heat to max heat ah! and uh, stir this round and I'm actually gonna wait to put in the water until I see that this is actually Bubbling. And in the meantime, give away these lentils. And I can take this rag here, remove some water, and stuffs that you don't want on your uh, what is that called in English? what is this called? this is a sink and this metal piece here is connected to the sink but it's just uh, 
the, the, the working area. Oh, oh, oh! Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? It's getting hot in here, so put in all your water. I will put my water in. And how much water will I put here? I'm gonna drench this. Oh, that's so much water. Then I will try to mix the water with the rest of the stuff. And now you can actually see the red in the carrots. Come on, mix. <gasps> you know what that is? That's alarm for taking out my beers out of the freezer because you don't want beer ice cream or at least I don't but I guess it would be called beer popsicles oh look at this oh look at this Oh, everything is boiling now. Mm. 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 Oh, that's so good. Oh, come on. Boil, baby, boil. And now, that is a camera angle for losers Can you see the heat? Should we turn on this again? Or can't you hear me if I do that? I'm badass so I don't care Anyway, this is boiling light like the pits of hell! So I'm just gonna pour in enough lentils to, to get satisfied. And you know this will suck up the water, so it's kinda hard to tell how much you put in before they have sucked it up. So to check. But I think I will need more. This will be so much fun! And now, I'm gonna set an alarm on 10 minutes and then I'm gonna kill the the hot plate I think I might have a bit a bit a bit too much of lentils in here We'll see. But now, we're gonna make porridge out of this. I'm not gonna have a super amount of stuff in there because I haven't tried it before and I'm not. We're actually gonna turn the heat down to three because uh, now it starts to smell like lentils. 
if I would be a bit more uh, flavor savvy, I would probably have more salt in this because this is uh, a bit salt from the curry I think and from the barbecue spice and from the soy sauce and otherwise I don't have any salt and a lot of people like having a lot of salt in their food and I do too but uh, I'm gonna try to be a bit uh, a bit more taking care of myself so I'm not gonna put in any more salt bubbly 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 and uh, because this is uh, like uh, it got all the amino acids and shit. Uh, you don't, you can eat it exactly as it is when it's done. Uh, but I'm probably gonna eat it with some uh, some rice because I think that would be nice. Stir a bit, stir a bit, and when you see that the lentils open up then you know that everything is as it should be and the thing with this uh, I'm doing super much now because I'm gonna put it in like uh, lunch boxes uh, because uh, this is only gonna get better if you if you let it sit in this sauce for a long time uh, so but just sit in the sauce because now the potatoes are still quite hard uh, and uh, you don't want them to like fall apart. Uh. So if you you can boil this for like an hour, an hour, an hour. But, uh, and it would probably, it would be a different thing, uh, but uh, it will be super yummy because all the flavor is in it. Now it smells like lentils also, niceness. Uh, but I'm just gonna boil this for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna let it sit on after heat until the after heat is not heat anymore and then I'm gonna throw it inside the lunch boxes and if you notice that it's not squishy enough you can just uh, put in some more water I may have to do that but we will see in a while. Because I want it kinda liquid. But not this liquid. And you're like, oh, you can't. that is not liquid. But if you can see like drops then it's liquid, okay? But now you can see that all these lentils are sucking up all this liquid. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger.
Oh, I can't hold this anymore. Nice camera angle, huh? It's like three and a half minute more. And uh, I may gonna put in some more water, as I said. But uh, if you ever cooked lentils before, or actually, you, you, you can just uh, try one and see if it's uh, soft enough for you. Uh, but it's gonna be softer when you, uh, when you just let it, uh, uh, let it be. Uh, but I think I'm gonna kill the video quite soon, because this is... Uh, this is the boring part of the video. Uh, boring. Boring. It's gonna need some more water. I'm just covering. Now it looks like this, and I'm gonna stir it around, stir it around. seconds. You see the difference? Like the camera was uh, there. Nice. I'm gonna try just a little bit of that and see how hard my lentils are. I'm gonna take from the bottom. This is really hot. Watch out.
Yeah. Stem point chewing. But that's gonna be okay because I'm putting them on after heat. You could eat this as it is, but uh, most people no, no, no. I can feel too much fibers in here. More water. Strangely enough, it tastes salty. I don't think I had enough sugar in the... That was like double the amount that I started with. And it's not enough spices even for kids. So put some more spices in there. Now it actually just tastes like... Like playing old lentils. And all the smoke is gone. Stir it around to mix all these new flavors into it. And the water I put in was not super hot anymore, so I'm uh, putting uh, Mr. Stove with uh, a hot plate here on six again, just to get it boiling again, and then I'm gonna kill it. Oh, it smells much better now. It's not spicy, but it at least has some spices now. Hmm, looky here we are. Do you see? Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that it's boiling all over and then I'm gonna kill it.
and third 2.8 Is this enough? No, it's not boiling here. It's not boiling there. I want you to boil everywhere. And uh, to get a really spiritual flavor you have to summon the dark lord to put his soul into this Sultan, I summon you Stuck in the bottom, stuck in the bottom, that's what's happened when you summon the Dark Lord. But it's not so amazing, amazing. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to clean the stove after I'm done, but you ain't gonna see it because. I don't think you can keep your concentration any longer than this. Now we're gonna taste here and see. And summon the Ar Arctic gods to, uh, to, uh, to uh, de-heat. Make your uh, ma make your test uh, spoon a bit colder, so you don't uh, burn the inside of your mouth because that is quite hurtful. <sighs> and yes, you can summon without actually using the words. You don't get as big a effect, uh, but uh, you don't need super big effect if you're just gonna cool down a spoon of uh, lentils. Mm. Okay. That's much better. But, but, I'm a sucker for good food, so I'm gonna be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some salt on this. Like popcorn, much salt. So no, I am not that um, that uh, that healthy. You can see that here. It was healthy food. Now it is comfort food.
那我可能是Fudging. Don't believe the captions. So it's just gonna sit here and uh, simmer on uh, after heat, and then I'm gonna eat it with the rice and uh, put some of it in nice lunch boxes. Uh, I wanna thank you if you actually managed to to come this far, and uh, please. Uh, Take care of yourselves and uh, peace.